they ask you who you play for, they're like, oh, did you guys, how'd you do in the bean pot? Like, it's not like, well, how'd you do at the end of the season? <laughs> the first question. <laughs> you in the ship, I don't care. Did you in the bean pot? Yeah, actually, like, it's crazy. You're like, we locked up a number one seat. They're like, yeah, but the bean pot. So. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, it's like, yeah, what it is. Welcome back to Pucks in Deep, episode number 73 here, while I'm your co-host, Connor Thelman. <laughs> and alongside me is just a great valiant effort from James Murray over here. James, how are you? Ah, good, how are you? Man? <laughs> I'm fired up now. We got Alex Newhook on the pod today. We're pumped. I mean, guy had a year. Team Canada, BC show. Like, all right, so we are back in studio. I don't know what the hell just happened, but let's just get after it. We're recording this on Wednesday night, so it's the 23rd. If you're listening, it is Friday. We probably, hopefully the over hit in the Islanders lightning game for me and James here. Yeah, that's um, what we're hoping. Yeah, we're, here's to hoping. But yeah, we got a great interview on deck for you guys. We have Alex Newhook actually joining us on Zoom video. Friend of the pod, so now we got two Colorado Avalanche under our belt. Mm-hmm. Kale Makara as well. But not, not a big deal. He's all right. Yeah, He's, he's not bad. What? What are you gonna say? Our first BC, product. first BC Eagle. Well, we, we've been Brandon trying. Cruz, Brandon Cruz, technically an Eagle. <laughs> nah, that doesn't <laughs> count. Okay, was, right, was yeah, an yeah. Eagle when he came on the pod. Fair. Now he is. I'm sure he's pumped. But uh, now, oh yeah, our first, I mean, we've been trying to. I mean, I feel like I've I'm, I've missed on more DMs with these guys than anything. Yeah, than any girl I've ever talked to. So oh, absolutely. Um, Talk about striking out. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. But me too. I'm now too. we got we got the big fish and new hook. Mm. Um. Yeah, long time coming yeah, for this guy. Yeah, the new family, he's, he's here, he's ready to go. Um, a great interview I had. Yeah, that's, that's one you want to stay tuned for. But Lots of good um, stories about, you know, his time there with the boys. Great great team. Kemi built <laughs> not only, you know, on his line with Boldy, roommates there too, but even the camera guy who gets those great shots of him. A great relationship that's talked about in this pod, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's... Uh, also, Jerry York stories thrown in yeah, there. That's some good stories. No, we're, it's... We're hitting on all cylinders. <laughs> no, this is a uh, top, top of the line pod. Plus the Letty's there, so if you're watching this on he YouTube... He has not cut it at all. Yeah. I mean, it's it's still greasy. I'm going to say it's, it's like worth back. a YouTube subscribe just to see his hair. So, people, you don't want to go to our YouTube mm-hmm. page, Everything College Hockey, to watch this. We should make people subscribe if they want to see his Letty for this pod. We honestly should. <laughs> Maybe we don't even do a clip unless you subscribe. Yeah. Well, let's make an OnlyFans. <laughs> just throw his hair <laughs> on there. Yeah, yeah, this guy's got lettuce. He came in, he, you know, the can-do attitude. We love that when people are fired up for the for the podcast, it gets us going. So I think that this was just a great interview throughout. You're gonna want to listen to it coming up. But let's talk about you know what has happened since our last podcast. Of course, last week, right after we record, Augustana University comes out that they're getting a D1 team. Who? Yeah, that's right. So Augustana University, their D2 hockey program out of South Dakota. South Dakota. They're they just got plans. They they announced that like it's gonna happen. They didn't say any timetable really, but uh, yeah. So they're gonna start a D one program. Probably twenty twenty three is the people you know with the leaks going on right now. But uh, I mean that's kind of making up for God. You were just getting after it. That's making up for teams that are falling out because we got you know Anchorage gone. We got um, I'm blanking. Uh, Huntsville gone. Yep. There's one more. That's it right now. Oh, Robert Morris. F oh, A, man. which we'll get to They're more news on that. Yet. They're still, not out still of it fighting. yet. But, I mean, like we're losing teams is what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's, it's good news good. that we have teams like Lindenwood, Tennessee State. Uh, apparently, those are good. They have a review I've right heard, now. I've heard Illinois, Illinois is getting really close to making an announcement. Yeah, even Navy. We had like a little rumor Navy was thinking about it. Haven't not seen that. that since, but that that wouldn't work out just because you have Air Force, you have Army, you can't just add a third. That's like just let's get the Marines a team. Why not? Yeah. I want to see just my dad would go nuts for a Marines team. I'll just say, <laughs> like, just get everybody getting after some jarheads on the ice. Mm-hmm. Why mm-hmm. not? So, I mean, that was a good positive hockey news. Uh, more Robert Morris news. Chris Howard still a fraud. Um, because we is. saw that he sucks. Cir- the circle up video that was uh just blowing up on social media this week. If you haven't seen it, he's in the huddle. It's 2019, two games before they go to the tournament, mm-hmm. and he's he's leading and he's like, All we need is in this circle, and they're going around like hoorah, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it, it's just absolute bullshit because that same all we need in the circle is the same circle he killed single handedly two years later. I mean, he's like a Bond villain. I don't get this guy. And then we get a comment from former player. Nolan Schaefer, who is saying he's in that video. Yeah. He said that's the first and last time he ever stepped in foot in the athletics building in his three years. 
I mean, just ripped him apart right in our yeah. comment section. You love to see the balls on that kid. Yeah, um, just stepped up Nolan. to the plate. Thank you for that, Nolan, because it's true. Like, there's nobody saw this coming, but it's just like, how, how, how this guy doesn't have a heart, mm -hmm. doesn't have a soul. I mean, he could be a robot for all we know. It's just, just disheartening stuff. And it should be a team that, like, we shouldn't be saying Robert Morris losing the program. Right. I'll say it right now. No, it's, it's, it's a sad scene. And it's, uh, again, they, they had such a good year and they, they have history. Uh, they're top of the Atlantic every year, and there's still, you know, here we are still struggling with everyone pushing, the whole world pushing to get them, keep their program. It's still right. happening. There's so teams that like, would kill to be as we, good as Robert Morris was. Yeah. Well, I mean, and they're what, shut what them do we got to do? Yeah. So um, I'm just saying that Chris Howard, still a fraud. Also, possible fraud news, Vegas. I'm just saying, uh, tough go for them last night. I'm not calling fraud because I picked the Habs. So that's, true. I mean, yeah, but that's kind of, we were betting on them being frauds. They had the home crowd. Do you see how juiced they were last night? They were, but I, again, I Boys put money buzzing. on the Habs this series and I'm, I'm pretty yeah. proud of that pick. I think me and Biz would get along. Do you see Biz's, <laughs> Biz's suit, <laughs> man? They keep posting every time the Habs win, here comes his fucking <laughs> it's the same team picture, issue. But I, I like to think of it's, him wearing, the, wearing that shit. And every he's game. just so happy with a cup of Joe <laughs> and just staring out the window with his little Habs. He looks like a kid. I am glad he's finally uh, getting it right because he kind of led teams uh or he hopped on the bandwagon and just sunk the ship and then now their wagon that's staying afloat Caulfield just keeps scoring Nick Suzuki is nasty price is just on fire and yeah I, I'm gonna keep betting on them because the lines are ridiculous if you're a sports better out there Vegas could be frauds we don't know that yet we're gonna keep betting on the Habs until we find <laughs> until we figure it out yeah. uh, and then we got the lightning playing the Islanders tonight mentioned already we're hoping for the over there but I mean they absolutely just I mean, they're going back for sloppy seconds tonight because <laughs> eight nothing on Monday. That was a wild ride to tough witness. Tough luck. Yeah, tough yeah. luck, tough luck. But uh, on the brighter side of things, let's go to the null here. Let's go to the null. Who's our Who's our champs here? Shreveport Mudbugs. Shreveport, you never heard, heard of them. Never heard Straight of them. Straight out of Louisiana, taken down, they taking the, the champs, Robertson though. Cup home with them. Yeah. Took down the Aberdeen Wings. Final score, four to two. Shout out to our guy, Cole Hudson. A Vermont product or Vermont commit rather. That's huge. Uh, he just locked it down all plops. Made a little highlight video for him today. Grinded null That's tape. That's great work. Guys, our and, guy is just grinding out here. Like you have no idea. Just the trenuous work you got to go through to get a null tape. I mean, let's just say this guy is legally blind. <laughs> Look it up. He is legally blind. And I. It's an amazing story, man. It's, I still felt like I worked harder. Yeah. You know, like that's, <laughs> that's how tough this tape was to find, but it's a great video. Hey, He's man. a hell of a attendee. Great story for those mud bugs. Shout out. No, that's that's a hell of a story. Um, in, in other news, uh, let's go to a sad story, then a good story at the end. Sad story. So, yeah, uh, sad news came out. Tom Curvers, you know, the Minnesota hockey legend, unfortunately, passed away from his battle. <sighs> with lung cancer at the age of 58 only just way gone, too young gone way too soon you know if you guys don't i mean this hits home for us we're minnesota guys um he, he's he's a minnesota product played for bloomington jefferson same Our high school. school we went to yep then he moved on to you know the best college there is in the university of minnesota duluth your school yeah played four years there won the hobie baker in 1984 uh led the umd to their first national championship game they ended up losing but so. nobody cares because we're a wagon now but you know i mean he had 76 points in 43 games from the blue line his <laughs> senior year got the hobie baker award i mean that is just unheard of like and then Karunovic had like 46. Assistant GM of our, of our Minnesota while after that. So. Exactly, yeah. And he won a Stanley Cup for the Montre Montreal Canadiens in 86. Yeah. So, yeah, so a hell of a, just a hockey career for, for Tommy. And uh, it's it's obviously really sad to see him go, but we're glad he he made the world, the hockey world better than, you know, he better did. than it was. Right. So, so gone way too soon. Fuck cancer. And, uh, you know, just thinking about his his friends and family there. But, uh I mean, tough to, tough to transition from that. Very but, tough. Uh, on, on the good side of things, what do we got, though? We got some East Coast hockey Ooh. playoffs there. Our boy, Justin Kappelmaster. Ooh. That's right. Jay Cappy. Yeah, had him on right. a couple pods ago. Uh, Robert Morris alum. Mm -hmm. Chris Howard hates to hear that. He hates, and he's wearing the hat in the locker room there with the full trophy. Always represent. But he's going to win. Yeah, so shout out to the Fort Wayne Comets advancing to the Kelly Cup mm -hmm. finals in the East Coast Hockey League there. Uh, ECH bump is officially back. Yes, it is. It, it is. That's huge for us. We needed a big win there from the comments. They did needed it. it. Yeah, hopefully they can win the Kelly Cup. But uh, one more thing of good news here. We got Ed Robson Arena. We saw that video released today from Colorado College. I mean, that thing looks the scoreboard. It's rising. It looks beautiful there. The rink's just going to be packed. We're excited to go I mean, visit there. When that scoreboard was rising, I went from 6 to midnight as well. It was, just, <laughs> it was great yeah. to see electric fans are going to pack that place. It's on campus. You know, it's Fans are going to be on top of the teams there. Mm -hmm. Great news for college hockey. Bad news for Denver. Well, all in all, though, college hockey is it's, it's on its way back. we got a couple months until we're ready to go. we got some trips planned already. Uh, I'm not going to announce those yet, but we got some good videos in the mix coming up here. We're pumped. We're pumped to have fans back. 
College hockey is going to be back in full swing, everything going like normal. And even ECH merch, it, soon to be back, people. So, yeah. so be ready for that. Start saving your money now, I would say. Maybe if you have, you know, an easy way to make money, I would start doing that now. We have we have an idea for you, though. James, where can fans just start stockpiling this dough if they want to purchase some ECH merch, you know, coming up on the horizon here? So if you want some free ECH merch, all you got to do is win some money, right? So you're going to download the top rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code THPN when you sign up to turn $1 into $100 of free credits. That's code THPN for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Guys, just throw some money down on whomever. I would say the Habs, but go win some money, get some ECH merch, head to DraftKings right now to do so. I mean, that and probably bet on the Islanders and Lightning over tonight. But, you know, yeah, this yeah. is Friday, so you already That's did that. That's what your that. boys did here at Pucks in Deep. But uh, without further ado, it's Alex Newhook at the Colorado Avalanche. Welcome back to Pucks in Deep, episode number 73. And this week, we got a special guest for you guys. That former wagon for the BC Eagles and current forward for the Colorado Avalanche, Alex Newhook. Alex, how we doing? Doing great, man. How you doing? Hey, we're 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 buzzing right now in here. Yeah, I mean, we are. <laughs> <laughs> that was an aggressive, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no, we're, we're pumped to have you on, man. It's um long time coming. We watched you at BC and tear it up there, and then your time with the Avs here in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. And, um, but how are you doing? How's the offseason treating you? How are you doing right now? Yeah, thanks. It's great, it's great to come on. I've been I've been following it for a while, so it's good that we finally found the time. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good. It's good to get home. I'm I'm just home now for the for a bit of the summer and. Um, nice to finally see some family and friends after a long, uh, long year of not seeing anyone and not being on the cross the border. So uh, I'm trying to trying to make the most of it for for what it is right now. Is is it kind of weird? Just uh, I mean, not that you're not busy, but compared to like the whirlwind that was this past year for you. I mean, g- dealing with COVID, getting back on the ice for BC, playing in the World Juniors, back to BC playoffs and then NHL, then NHL playoffs. Like, how the, is it just nice to sit still a little bit? <laughs> I would think. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was a great year. I wouldn't want to have it any other way, you know, with how it ended up and uh, getting to play in the playoffs there. But um, I mean, obviously, a win would have would have been uh, would have been a bit, you know, would have been <laughs> ideal. But right. um, yeah, no, it, it was great. And but like you said, I mean, it was a long year and starting out in August and practicing. I think uh, trying to tally up the practices it was like had to be close, to like 150 practices this year. So um, I think it was kind of you know at this point. Um, you know, kind of after getting over what the season was and, and the loss, um, being able to sit back and um, get away from hockey for a little bit. I think it's, you know, as much needed now as, as it ever has been for me and um, trying to make the most of, you know, getting away from it and, and taking a break before getting back out of the summer. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Is there any, I mean, like the one thing you're probably missing the most is just the game day suit picks. Like, is it weird not getting <laughs> dressed up? Yeah, I don't, have, I don't have anyone following me around here. So I just kind of uh, take a little break from it. Just low key. I was, just, I was expected something. I mean, the, the white tee is just classic. I'm loving it. But I was just like, maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe we're getting a fedora it. today. <laughs> I didn't know. Next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Next oh. time. But, I mean, like, what was it like uh, this season? I mean, like, a lot of people, a lot of players had to step away for world juniors, but like you were gone for basically half the season, you know, getting ready for that and playing in that. I mean, what was that like representing your country, but then mm-hmm. like having to get back in the swing of thing, get the chemistry going again with, with Boston college there. Yeah, it was, it was a weird start to the season. I mean, I thought I would probably be around for at least the first couple of games and um, obviously coming back to BC, like for my second year, I was, I was really excited to get going with them. And then um, at the same time, I was excited to play for Canada. So it was, it was a little, uh, just a strange start where, you know, I wasn't around for eight games, but I was, I was healthy for those games. It wasn't like, I just, you know, couldn't have been there. It's just um, right. with, with hockey Canada and them, you know, wanted to have an extended camp. Um, we got out there really early and started in November and, um, you know, it was a great camp. We really geared us up well for the tournament. Um, but at the same time, I definitely missed, you know, being around the guys and, and being around a team that I was, you know, really close with from the, from the year before. And, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a little bit of an adjustment to, you know, come back in, in the middle of a season where, um, you know, the guys have already been doing really well. I think we only lost one game up to that point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I came back into, you know, where, where we were kind of rolling and I got hurt my first game back. So I missed another month, but Ugh. yeah, it was, it was crazy, tough but it's, you know, it's great experience with, 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 uh, team Canada there at, at world juniors. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a year for development in yourself between Canada <laughs> and BC winning a lot of games then to the NHL and then the NHL playoffs. I mean, now you can finally just sit back and realize like how much probably you developed in this season. It's probably the greatest year of growth for you. Would you agree? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely, you know, the biggest jumps I've taken um, in my career. So, um, yeah, I've got to be very happy about that. Um, 
but yeah, I know like playing for four different teams in one year is, is pretty unheard of. So especially during um, COVID, <laughs> yeah, in and out of locker rooms every uh, every couple months. Um, but it was great. Yeah, played with some played with some great players. You know, met a lot of met a lot of great guys. And um, like you said, the development was definitely uh, huge this year. Yeah, I mean, so many guys on Canada too, and just yeah, it's a lot of different locker rooms. A lot that you're able to probably pick up. You know other people's skills you know there's a lot of different rosters yeah. you could choose from but yeah exactly um damn <laughs> you had a year man uh <laughs> what do you want to go to yeah. next do you want well i, I just want to like uh i mean obviously yeah tough uh tough game against st cloud state you guys were up one nothing there but uh like after the game you know was there any thoughts of i mean i'm sure you took your time but like was there any thoughts of re- t- returning for your junior year or was it always kind of you know you were set for the pros like i mean you were ready obviously but uh, what was that thought process like yeah, it was uh, a tough decision. I think, you know, one, one of the toughest ones I've had to make um, in my life, I think, up to this point. It's hard to, it's hard to walk away from, from a program like BC. And, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of things pointing to, um, you know, having another year at BC, I thought. And you know, there's a lot of reasons um, for me to go back. Um, my sister is going into BC next year. She'll be a freshman on the women's team. Um, our team would have been, you know, I think one of the best in, in the, in the league next year again, I think you know, they still will, even with losing a lot of guys. Um, but I mean, going back and have another shot at a national title was, was something that was in the back of my head. And, um, you know, I've always wanted to, you know, have a shot at that and coming up close this year kind of, you know, pushed me to want to go back again. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, um, it just came down to the opportunity in Colorado and, um, where I thought I wanted to be come, you know, the end of this season and then come next season. So I'm happy with the decision, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't an easy one for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. I mean, yeah. two obviously successful teams in BC and, and in Colorado, but yeah. I mean, you, you I mean, get into that locker room with McKinnon and McCarr and Landis <laughs> Cog, like yeah, hard to turn that chance down. to win the cup. I mean, just after ending a season with BC, how hard is it to make an adjustment? Like, uh, season ended here, but now I got to jump in and try to win a cup. Like how, how do you, yeah, how does that thought yeah, process exactly. go? I mean, it was, it was a pretty quick turnaround and, um, you know, take, take, took a couple of days to kind of let it all digest. But, um, after that St. Cloud game and then, you know, in the, in the coming weeks, um, it was kind of like, you know, okay, it's season's not even close to being done yet. And, and I was going to the HL first. So, right. uh, you kind of gear up for that. And then, um, you know, my goal obviously going into the A was, was to get up with the big club and, um, you know, after that, obviously to just get in the playoffs and, and, uh, you know, try to make an impact on that team. So, but once I was there, yeah, I was like, wow, that's when a cop, like that's kind of crazy in your first year to be put in that position. But, um, yeah, it quickly turned into, you know, it's the first couple of games. It was like, wow, I'm, I'm here now. And then it was kind of like, all right, like dial it in. We got to kind of go for a cup run here. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> are you, are you saying in the, anything in the locker room or are you just kind of just mind your own business when you make yeah, it up to the, keeping the, the head club? down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it didn't change much, but yeah, and, uh, wasn't overly, you know, talkative or anything. No, no, yeah. I'm just curious. Guys like, up, I wouldn't say up. a word. I'd be sitting in the corner, <laughs> <laughs> my mouth shut. <laughs> like, no, but man, good for you. And then, you know, you get your first uh, NHL goal against the Blues there in the playoffs. I mean, that had to feel good. Talk to us, you know, talk to us about that moment right there. Special moment. Yeah, for you. thanks. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great. I was, you know, getting a little, uh, a little frustrated in the, in the games before, and, um, but no, it was, it was good. I was, you know, just, just sticking to, you know, what I, what I was doing and. Um, you know, knew it would come eventually. And yeah, I think, uh, gravy shot it like from the point on, uh, rebound or kicked out from the corner. And I just happened to be right in the, right on my tape. And yeah, I was man. like, please, please don't miss this. <laughs> no, man, congrats. That's, that's, very, that's a good story there. You, and, uh, Appreciate I'm it. sure that means a lot to your hometown and in Finland and what, you know, where you came from. Talk to us about, just about growing up in Canada and what was your, you know, the youth hockey experience like for you? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, super proud to be from Newfoundland. It's uh, a very, very tight knit community, always has been. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's not really a lot of guys that, that come through and, and mm-hmm. get to play in the NHL. So I'm, I'm lucky to be part of that group. Um, but yeah, I grew up in, and played here up until grade nine. I moved away. I went to St. Andrews College in Ontario for two years um, before going to the BCHL for two years. And then uh, that took me to Boston College. So a um, few steps along the way, but, yeah, no, it's uh, the best place on earth in Newfoundland. The people are the best here. And, um, you know, a lot of people have been to support and everything I've received this year, especially, you know, with Team Canada and then uh, making the jump with the Avs. Um, it's, it's been, uh, you know, overwhelming. It's something I'm very pr- proud of and, and uh, thankful for it as well. 
Yeah, I love that. What uh, let's just back it up a little bit. Like you mentioned that you played for in the BC for a couple of years. Like what made you choose college hockey and specifically Boston College? Like was there any other teams or any other major juniors programs you were considering for that? Yeah, I was I was drafted by Halifax um, in the queue. So it was um, it was yeah, it was definitely you know a, a hard decision to you know walk away from from a team like that. And they they have a great organization. You know, it was kind of there's a few times where I considered it more more so than others. And um, they actually hosted the Memorial Cup for my draft year, so that was uh, yeah. that was a tough decision. But um, I just thought that the lifestyle in college and and uh, obviously the style of play and, and where you get to play against older guys. I don't think you really get that um, at the major junior level and you're not playing against 25 year olds where it's, uh, you know, that much, I think it's that much more close to the pro game. You know, personally, I think that, um, sure. and you know, I think, yeah, I saw it firsthand. You know, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough league. It's a tough, uh, you know, it's a tough conference to play in. And um, as well as that, you know, just getting your schooling at the same time. And, and I thought that was a huge pro to going to college and, um, you know, whatever happens is, you know, if hockey never worked out, then um, schooling's always there. So it's, you know, it's a great option for for anyone. Yeah. I mean, plus playing for Jerry York, uh, the legend can't yeah. hurt either. <laughs> yeah. Hard, hard to turn down that as well. He's such a, such a seasoned uh, coach. You know, he's, he knows he's seen it all and, um, you know, playing under his, uh, his coaching was, was pretty phenomenal. How about just playing in front of that? I know not this year, but the year before, but your prior, uh, the student section though, and just the hockey base that can't, Boston College has. I mean, yeah, what, what's yeah. it like? There? It's yeah, a hockey school. school. I think. I mean, the yeah, my freshman year, I think like we sold out almost every game, and the students were were crazy. So we didn't get that this, this year. year, but that'll be yeah. something I'll miss for sure. No, that's a school that we got. We're going to Boston this year, maybe twice, but I mean, we got we got a go tour there. I haven't yeah. been there ever before, so. But yeah, I mean, for sure. It's beautiful. Obviously, BU is probably the game to go to, but the series to go to, but or uh, could even go to the bean pot. Talk talk to us about playing in the bean pot. I mean, that oh, that overtime game was it with BU? Venue. Just, yeah, just nuts. Venue. Um I can't even explain. I mean, I I just remember looking up and I think usually they, they kind of uh they block off like four different sections in the upper bowl for yep. for the four different schools. And I think we we had the we had the second game. I'm pretty sure my first year. So it was better for the students because obviously they want to go to the later games and then do whatever after. Mm -hmm, Um, But I remember looking up and like, usually it's blocked off for like a quarter and like our section was definitely bigger than BU's, but it was like, it was like (laughs) probably more than, more than half of like, more than half of the whole bowl was like just all BC students. Um, (laughs) So that was, that was pretty cool. And then like they had the chance going back and forth all game. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was crazy how loud they could be from that high up, and yeah, we we felt that it was it was unbelievable. Yeah, just shitty, a, shitty ending, but yeah, I mean that game was just happens. crazy, and like you can tell just the passion. I love you. Like we definitely had more fans than BU. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> most oh, important yeah. thing. Just get that rivalry. I mean, out it there. seems like obviously every player that's played in it cares so much about it and the rivalries that come from it. But uh, yeah, I mean yeah, that's something every college hockey fan's yeah. got to experience. I haven't experienced. Yeah. I've not been to one yet, but. Next year, yeah. I think that's the move for us. We have to go. Yeah, we got to get there. I can't believe oh, it didn't happen yeah, last yeah. year. Like, well, be, or COVID. Yeah, I know, I mean, but it, still, it you might, get, it might mean more to some hockey fans in Massachusetts than the national championship does. Like, really? actually, it's that it's that big. Yeah. Like wow. people, you know, if they ask you, who you play for, they're like, oh, did you guys? How'd you do in the bean pot? Like, it's not like, <laughs> well, how'd you do at the end of the season? <laughs> the first question <laughs> you're in the ship i don't care did you in the bean pot? <laughs> yeah actually like it's crazy you're like we locked up a number one seat they're like yeah with the bean pot so <laughs> yeah no actually like, yeah, that's what it is wow that's a good that's perspective nice. i mean that really yeah. yeah we're from minnesota so we don't get that you know no, we're we, like we yeah the no, north star cup which is nothing compared to the bean cup. now that, nah, that's yeah. gone they delete it's gone we had it we had it it's not there anymore but, unfortunately uh, everyone talks about it like they're like oh i remember going to the bean pot like 40 years ago like, mm-hmm. it was crazy it's like wow <laughs> do they make <laughs> rings awesome. if you win the bean pot do you get a ring too or is it just the dream? I, don't, I don't think so no no i haven't heard that i was gonna okay. say ask him. i don't know that'd be kind of sick yeah it's got old timers coming up to you like get you one of these man <laughs> <laughs> they should they should start it <laughs> yeah i mean I, wit would rock it for sure wit <laughs> <laughs> that would be you guy uh but yeah i mean let's dial back like your first you know game into the the NHL there with Colorado, like, was there a veteran on the team that kind of took you under their wing to, you know, make you a little less nervous? Cause for me, like we mentioned, we'd be shitting bricks, but like, was there anybody <laughs> who kind of like went out of their way for you? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, all the, all the guys were pretty welcoming. Honestly, like a really really good group, and I could feel that like just coming in, even like on the first uh, the first like plane when we took off, you know, like, everyone's coming up to me, and everyone's um, you know it's talking about how you know it's great to have me here and all this stuff, and you know, that, that feeling was pretty cool. And then you know to get in my first game, I think you know Kale Kale was great, and he uh, you know he was kind of in a similar situation. I think you know he stepped right in the playoffs, but yeah, where I was kind of coming at the end of the season, I think he true. knew like yeah, it's true. it's kind of a similar situation. And he knew what it was all about so yeah I mean, uh yeah he was great to me and then you know just kind of play your games good to, good to have you here kind of stuff and um but everyone everyone was great yeah really it's, who, it was awesome kill, who, kill who, a friend of the pod too. he is a friend of the pod I'd like to mention that i hope so yeah. i hope he still is <laughs> i hope he still is <laughs> hope so who who took away the bucket though for the solo lap who's guilty uh, i think i think it was landy but i'm not 100 percent sure i remember like looking at it and uh, always have to rock a pregame Wes like 30 <laughs> seconds before we go on. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, like no one's taking it yet. Like I'll probably just be chilling. And then I see like, I was gone for maybe 20 seconds and I get back. And like, as soon as I walk, as soon as I walk out of the bathroom, like go back to my stall, like everyone just lined up looking at me, like waiting for me to like notice it. And as, soon as, I, as soon as I notice it, they're all like, "Hey, no, like get the bandana back on, like get the hair going." Like someone, I think it was Lanny, probably. But that's good. Was, uh, I mean, you got the lettuce. Awesome. You have to, yeah. I mean, I would have <laughs> yeah. taken it off and just handed it to Lanny. Otherwise, like I'm not yeah. wearing this. <laughs> just a veteran move, though. The captain taking over. He's like, "I got you." <laughs> He's gone yeah. for twenty. They're waiting. Yeah. <laughs> We're rocking it. Oh no, that's that's a good story though. But uh, no, again, congrats on that. I wa- I do want to touch on BC again. Um, how important do you think it was, you know, for your development to go to BC though? Um, yeah, and- it was huge. It was huge. Um, I think, you know, just playing at BC with the culture and everything, you kind of get to learn. Um, you get to learn a lot through just like the players that have been there before and, and um, you know, a lot about players that have come through that have like gone on to be super successful. They do a good job of like kind of keeping us in touch with some of the guys that have been through, which is, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I came into a great situation my freshman year. We're, we're a really good team, so um, I kind of had to, to work to, to work to get a you know a good spot on the team. Work to you know be a difference maker, and I, it wasn't really handed to me right away. You, know, you had mm-hmm. to come in, and um, for all of our, we had a good freshman class, but it wasn't like handed to us. And everyone had to come in and earn their spot because we had a really strong team. Um, so I think that was good. And, you know, challenged me early on in in, uh, in college, and then. Um, for my second year being in a little bit different of a role where, um, you know, playing on our top line, um, you know, being relied upon a lot in the games that I did get in, I only played like 12 games or something, but, um, yeah, it was great to be a guy coming back and, and being able to be more of a leader and, and help the younger guys that were coming in. Um, you know, taught me a lot about different, different positions that you can be in and, and a team and how to contribute and how to, um, you know, help out some other guys, um, you know, even when I wasn't in the lineup. So it was, it was mm-hmm. great. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of distractions in college too, obviously, but like, um, how do you handle the schoolwork, the distractions, everything like going into college on top of hockey, you know, you're, you're trying to get to the NHL, but you're on this very successful team and yeah, there's girls walking around, you got classes that you got to take care of. Like, how does it, how does it work? Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it can be, it can be challenging at times for sure. Like it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's all about time management and, um, you know, they do a great job of helping us out with, with, um, you know, academic advisors and everything like that. But, yep. um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's nice that, um, everyone's kind of in the same boat. Like it's, it's not like you're kind of on your own Island and it's, I'm sure it's, it's the same for every team in, in college, mm-hmm. you know, you, um, you have everyone else that you can talk to about, um, their schooling. A lot of them are in the same classes as you and, um, everyone's kind of in together. So you're all kind of pulling on the same rope. Everyone wants it, everyone to do well. So everyone's, you know, willing to help you out. And, um, it goes a long way when you have that, um, team environment, even if it's not on the ice, you know, with schooling and everything else, it's, it helps a lot. Yeah. Ooh. It's it's huge when you have classes with all the boys, like someone's got to do the homework one night. <laughs> also, also helps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just got to roll into a little speed round here. Okay. Best style on the team. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw it in other than yourself. <laughs> yeah. I, on, I mean, on and off uh, the ice. Shammy. Off the ice. Hamburger. Yeah. What's he rocking? He's got some, he's got some good stuff. I remember he wore this. I actually have a picture with him, um, walking in together. They probably, probably coordinated like when we were going to come, we weren't even playing. So it was, you know, it was one of those before the game pictures crazy that they were out there. We weren't even walking in for the game, um, <laughs> but he wore this like full beige, like Pico with beige pants. And it was, it was nice. I remember he's got some, uh, he's got a really nice maroon suit with like blue in it. It's nice. I mean, how many, like, I want to know your relationship with the cameraman for BC. Like, yeah. what's going on? Are you texting him like, hey, I'm coming to the rink now? Or like, he, he's always prompt. <laughs> no, it seems no. like. He, uh, 
um, he usually hangs out like just outside, like for an hour, like before the game. <laughs> um, Dude, because, just like, guys will just come at different times. Like I'm always the first yeah. guy. I'm usually one of the first guys there. Yeah. Um, so he'll usually like, sometimes he would text me and be like, Hey, when are you getting here? <laughs> and then like, because like, I'm like, not the first it. guy there. So then he would know like, Oh, this is like the time where I can be out there and then I can just stay there for an hour. That, make, that makes more sense. I remember one, one time he like texts me and, and he was like, he's like, Hey, like I'm actually running to get a coffee, but if you want to grab me one, then I'll just be here. And I was like, I got you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so I like brought the coffee. I like brought the coffee with me. And then like, he was like, Hey, just like texting me. This is like, Hey, like just leave it uh, around the corner. So it's not, the picture and then i'll take the picture and then i'll go grab it after <laughs> so i'm like walking around the building i like lay the coffee down and there's like there's like people walking by me the other way like what is this guy doing why is he laying the coffee down like he has two in his hand i like lay it there and then i have the other one in my hand i'm like walking around the corner and it's cool looking at him like hey like relax i gotta get the picture here <laughs> that's some team cammy right there even with the well, camera guy i had to know the relationship because there has to be i mean yeah buddy's hiding behind the bush or something i mean just ready to get the candid but no, no, no other team he's the man yeah no other team really has that, but BC is ready for BC game day there. swag yeah. every single time. Yeah. They do a good job on social media. It's probably the best. It's huge. They, yeah, yeah, they're right there. I mean, they crush it. I don't know the team that be, like no one has the. Remember, we did it for the Gophers, and they're like, "Holy shit, we, nobody does that for us." No, like, Wisconsin. That was Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin? Okay. Wisconsin, yeah we Either did it for way. Wisconsin. And they had not one pick. <laughs> So we we yeah, DM we DM'd each player a picture of themselves. <laughs> like they're like, oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's the man. He's like, and you know, bus rides and everything, get off the bus. Hey man, I think I think that's crew. I think BC does it right though. Like that needs to happen for college hockey, like men's and women's, especially women's. But yeah, and they've sure. invested in it like a lot, and it's I think it's gone a long way, especially our our, uh, our video videographer. Yeah, he's uh, got to give a shout out to him, Joey. He's the man. He's like you should see some of the videos that he makes. I'm sure you guys see some of them. But oh yeah, we take like, them. We the ones yeah. the hype <laughs> videos that he makes for like weekends with 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 teams. Like it's like just watch them before the game because you're amped. Like it's unreal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to connect with that guy after this. I mean, he's yeah, yeah, they're got clutch. The whole staff and they're on top of like tiktoks the girls teams always put like they're good I mean, <laughs> yeah. seriously yeah, it's it makes a difference out. though like if you want to market your school that's the number we used one it today to even for national hydration day we got you on there like, i mean they Maybe. had oh, yeah. hella, hella pick options yeah <laughs> seems like they're always post i swear like because we did uh i mean for rankings every week we need new pictures which is tough because not every team is posting pictures like we're saying yeah we're i swear every week bc had one of you just dousing yourself with water is that <laughs> yeah. is that a routine yeah. with the camera guy too he's ready he's like all right so whenever you're gonna just let it rain <laughs> let me know just show up. Nice. Yeah. No, he's good. <laughs> what a guy. What other questions? Oh, do we get in some fan questions? We can go fan questions too. Let's, yeah. Let's keep it clean here. There's, I okay. saw some of them today. So, <laughs> we also had some BU fans just coming in to chirp for no apparent I'm reason. Sure, sure. So, so we'll leave those. But what no, about, we got to say them. We got to throw it. Okay. I mean, we, we can cut anything out, right? Yeah, we can. You can. You can ask those questions. How about that? <laughs> no, I don't want to ask them. Exactly. <laughs> what about, uh, all right, so fan question here. What's your go to snack at a gas station? <laughs> what? Ooh. I think that's, that's a, a good, good question. question. Yeah. Good, who is that from? Uh, I didn't write it down. Uh, nah, that's tough. I might get like some honey roasted peanuts. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I can play. No seeds, just straight up peanuts. Oh, I do like seeds too. Yeah. No pickle. Go to coffee shop in Canada and then at BC. Ooh. Hey. Um, Starbucks at BC. We have yeah. like a couple uh, cafes that have just Starbucks in them, which is really nice. Nice. Okay. Um, and then Canada, I gotta go with Timmy's. You got to. Nice I just make sure you're Timmy's guy. Like you have yeah. to be. <laughs> what about Colorado? What do you get? I mean, Starbucks again? Yeah, yeah. it was just Starbucks. Just yeah. Starbucks. Keeping it simple. What about? I do want to find like a nice like local coffee shop, but I didn't really have the time. There was one like by where I was staying, so it was easy. There you go. You'll find yeah. one. What? Yeah. What was your another fan question? What was your favorite pregame suit? Because we did have a lot of options this we season. Did. What was your favorite get up? My favorite suit. Yeah. Oh my! Um, <laughs> Got options. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, I like I like one of the suits I got uh, last summer. It's like a brown suit. It's nice. Is that the one? Yeah. I think the favorite pick I saw was the one where you had like the Red Dead Redemption looking hat coming in oh, with the yeah, Boston yeah, I, I college that background with that outfit. Yeah, let's go. Okay, that's yeah, nasty. That's that's the one. That's that's need the to say that. Have you got paid yet? I mean, how much are you splurging on suits next to your hats <laughs> <laughs> and shoes? The shoe I'm game. Not get up. Suit shop yet? You haven't gotten anything yet. No, I haven't gotten to the suit shop yet. No. Oh God! Can we can we like follow you for a day? Just going to the suit shop and be like, <laughs> it'd be like ice box for the guys tie on. It was just new hook. Just go. Or we could deck them out in ECH swag. I mean, just as good. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting show. I think that would get like a hundred thousand views at least. Oh, easily. <laughs> We're doing it <laughs> easily. 
Uh, what other? What else have we got here? Any, uh, I'm trying to look through. Fans? What do, I mean, last week we did pull out a pretty good uh, Red Berenson story from our guest. Could we get a Jerry York story that you got in your two seasons there? Anything PG? PG. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh god! I'm thinking of one here. That's, You're good. Man. Oh, this is actually, this is actually kind of funny. Let's this go. is one of the. This is PG. Okay, which, that's huge. You can share whatever you want. Uh, yeah, true. too many that I can throw out. But um, it was actually like probably, probably uh, might have been like two weeks, like freshman year, maybe like two weeks before our first game. And me and Bolds are roommates, and like we're good buddies and um, we're playing ping pong in the, in the locker room <laughs> and uh, Bolds is at, is on the side where like he's hitting towards like where you walk into our oh, lounge. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> See how this so, one's going. Uh, so anyways, we're playing and we're both like decent, decent players. And uh, I throw one up and he smashes it and Yorkie walks in at the same time <laughs> and like gets him right in the eye. And like, oh. This is like before we've even played any games. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and I'm, we're all kind of in shock. And there's like four other guys that are like watching the game. Um, and so we all just kind of like, we're all just kind of like taken back. I'm like looking, I'm like, oh my God, like, this is not good. And he's, <laughs> he just like, he just like kind of takes it to the eye. And he's like, whoa, like, geez. He's like, like, Maddie, you might have to work on your smash and then walks away. And we're all like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm not playing a game. <laughs> Blinded him. Like, it just, just takes it like bad. it's champ, though. I mean, that's... He took it like, took it like, took it like a champ and yeah. just walked away. I, he might have been hurting after he walked away, but he took it like <laughs> crazy. Imagine yeah. you haven't played a game and you just smoke coach with yeah. him. <laughs> I haven't even played a game yet. And like, like, God damn it, Boldy. Smash the eye down. Like, it's pretty tough. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're fucking skating. <laughs> oh, for sure. yeah, Bold, Bold was shaking. He was like, oh, man, like, I hope he's not too pissed. Like, That's tough. Did you guys keep the same uh, ping pong set up afterwards? Did you like move it around a little bit? <laughs> yeah, we actually did. Just, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, if coach can take it, then anybody can. We're <laughs> yeah. fine. Yeah, exactly. He's got that leadership. Yeah, what about, uh, I mean, you mentioned Boldy. Did you, I mean, you and Spencer Knight, I think we're the only ones to get a shot in, in the pro, especially playoffs. Like, were you guys giving him shit? That we were hoping to God, we're wild fans. Yeah, we were pissed. Didn't see yeah. him get the call. Were you, like, what do you think about that? Were you talking with him about it? Yeah, I was, I was talking a lot. I mean, I think he did really well in the A. I, just, I was kind of, right? uh, I was a little surprised they didn't give him a shot, but just, I mean, well, like, you know, every every organization is a little different. And um, I'm sure he'll get his shot next year. So, you know, who was it? It was a hell of a player. Benino's Absolutely. literally was it Benino, Benino's? Yeah, his wife's having a baby like three hours before the game. Baldy's coming in. He even does the warm up skate and they don't give him the nod. Benino comes back and plays <laughs> yeah. the game. Yeah, they Bold, won, yeah, so Bold, I can't. I think, he, I think he went out for the last two. Like he went out for yeah. warm ups and then yeah, he did. Yeah, I was just like, Such I was going. A tease. I placed the bet on the wild, knowing yeah. he's going, and sure enough, <laughs> Benino's in there. I was like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> good, uh, good bet there in the lineup. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think we learned our lesson because uh, yeah. <laughs> tough, tough game seven, I'll say. And it was a tough game seven. Beyond other ones, he'll get his chance next year. We're excited to have him here. That's yeah, for sure. yeah but I mean, all, all like, how, how nice is it to play with that many NHL guys though at BC? Like, you know, not just for you guys, but the the other guys too. Um, you have that much talent on your team. It's just like yeah, just right, practice every day. We're gonna win. Like, <laughs> what's that feeling like in the locker room knowing you got that much talent? On your yeah, team? it's it's great. And uh, I mean, even the year before, we we knew a lot of those guys would move on. Right. Um, you know, play if not in the NHL in the NHL the next year. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, and, and you don't really know, you know, where everyone's going to end up um, after, but you know that everyone's great players. And I think, you know, there's a lot of guys still staying at the school that are going to go on to be, you know, pros for a long time. So um, playing against these guys, you know, a lot, a lot of the guys are really mature and, and um, you know, so it's, it's great to get out and, and practice with them every day. And the practices are great. They're always high paced, especially because they're practicing so much. You know, everyone's everyone's dialed in, everyone's getting better. And, um, you know, it's, it's especially good for the younger guys and seeing uh, seeing guys move on to go play in the NHL or wherever it is pro after. It's, um, you know, gives them some some motivation. I know it gave me some motivation coming in and seeing more guys move on um, than I kind of, you know, would have expected sometimes. Mm-hmm. For sure, was it? I mean, did it just absolutely suck going against Spencer Knight every day in practice? Oh yeah, that that sucks for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did he start? Get anything? Play? I guess it's good to play against uh, good players. The good goalies can be annoying. Yeah, I don't want to butcher his record. What? What do you have a streak? Four and all, six and all this year. To start Definitely four started four and all. I remember. Started and then, out four and all. Because like, yeah. God. <laughs> like, playoffs too. He gave up a quick one and then had like forty straight saves. Got him a huge one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, 
that was that was yeah, he is, he's something else being able to watch him every day it's like, holy probably God. made you better too now you're challenged every day in practice like I yeah scoring no, this it, was, kid, it was great though we were all, we were all new like this guy is just uh wherever yeah. he goes yeah absolutely no. so calm all the time you know well, congrats to him he's got a hell of a career ahead of him so yeah. we hope yeah healthy but uh we'll give him the ech bump too we're definitely giving it to you but uh we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll try to spread our love out a little bit i mean are you going to be around uh the campus you know just give it a little hoorah speech for for the BC Eagles this year, if, if they need it, I mean, a lot of new faces in there, but he's still plugged in with the team. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm still, I live with, uh, you know, four of the guys that will, that will be there next year. And, oh, there we um, go. you know, it's, we're a really close group this year. So I think I'll be around late August in Boston. So, um, you know, hopefully be around the campus a little bit to see some of the guys and, um, you know, just be around for a little bit. Yeah. That's, that's sick. Yeah. Not that they need it, but <laughs> <laughs> what is what is your out. favorite memory on the ice or at the rink? I should say, and then away from the rink at BC. Probably the, I think the best memory, like as much as it was, as much as it was pretty, uh, as much as it was pretty, like um, you know, sour at, at the end. Um, the bean pot was was like an awesome experience, just the way it's done up and everything. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, but I think at the end of of last year, like as as much as like it was pretty devastating that um you know that our season was was ended i think just like the whole way that like everyone came together like as a team to kind of be like all right like it is it is what it is like it's brutal that we can't go on and try to win it but it was kind of like the coolest like unity feeling i felt like in a group because we were all kind of like wow this is this is brutal but like we're all gonna get through it together and like we all kind of felt that we had a lot of older guys so i think that probably sparked it a bit more too whereas like we were all like, oh, this sucks for us. But like, we were also like, wow, this is brutal for like their seniors more so. So like, mm-hmm. it was kind of, you know, we all kind of came together and um, definitely emotional time, but um, it was, it was like a you know, pretty cool feeling to be part of something that close knit. And yeah. Talk about though the tournament right there. You know, it's a lot of kids dream to go play in the, you know, go to the dance, go play in the tourney. Like what was that experience like? Especially after even during a set up the year before. Like, yeah. Would have went. And then getting to that tournament last year, how was that experience for you? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, you know, especially where the year before we deserved to, you know, we were going to be probably one seed at host some regional. So right. uh, it, was, it was good to be able to get back and um, to where we would have been. And I think it kind of all built up and, um, you know, it's, it's tough in single elimination. You know, it's, it can be anyone's game. And um, unfortunately we ended up on the wrong side of it, but um, yeah, just the whole, uh, you know, the whole idea of, you know, playing other teams that you don't play all year was, was pretty cool. And, um, being able to watch the other games and see how everything unfolded. Um, yeah, it was a cool experience. I was just curious, like, were you guys preparing for Notre Dame, obviously before that decision came down? Cause that had to be weird. Like you're set up to play against Notre Dame and in, in your regional. And then last second they drop out. Like, was that, you know, just like a weird ass experience? Like, all right, I guess now we're facing the winner of, uh, BU and St. Cloud. Yeah, it was really weird. Like we, uh, I mean, we, we got there, you know, on, on the schedule to play, to play Notre Dame. Um, I think it was Friday. I'm not sure what day it was, but, um, yeah, I was pissed. Yeah. Was and, then, game. and then like the day before, like we were like, we start seeing like tweets or something about how Notre Dame is like has positive and we didn't really know for a couple hours. And then, um, when we found out, like it was, it was like, you know, it was kind of like, Oh great. Like it's, uh, you know, we get past, a team obviously you want to get to the finals, but at the same time, like it was, it was weird. Like we didn't want to win that way. We, we mm-hmm. never wished that on anyone. And right. we wanted to play. We hadn't played in like 11 days until then. So like we want to just get into it and it's too bad for Notre Dame, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, we moved on. So it's kind of just, all right guys, like just get ready for the next game pretty much. Yeah. Like it is what it is, but it'll yeah, never just... happen again. You'll never just get a bye in the tourney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is your probably first time ever. Yeah, yeah. People are so pissed online. I mean, we were trying to get Army in that spot or like send any team to play. Like they should have had yeah. a backup team for both yeah. situations. They Michigan had, too. Yeah, they should have had a backup team. We could have laced yeah. them up. We would have got just shit house, but <laughs> we were ready. You know, like our numbers didn't get called, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. it's <laughs> tough. Bad, but... What about I guess one question we didn't ask is like your favorite barn to play at uh in your time in college hockey? It could be in the hockey east or just you know, outside of what was your favorite experience, like favorite fan atmosphere, even? We played at Denver last year. That was that was pretty cool. They 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 packed it both nights. Um, I bet. But I think uh, after it. I think UMass is is pretty cool. They have a good student section. Um, they uh, they had the signs going and stuff. So that was <laughs> uh, my first year. That was pretty cool. 
Zoom out. Uh, Show it up. I mean, BU, BU is a great venue because it's always like right. there's always BC fans there. So it's kind of like a True. cheating way to see our, our, our fans are the best. But <laughs> great. Yeah. I mean, it's always like yeah, you'll get like back and forth. So, like I was saying about the bean pot, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay. We'll take that. And then uh, one question we always ask is like if you had advice to our younger listeners out there right now that, you know, playing hockey anywhere, just trying to, you know, make, a, make it to college hockey or make it to the pros, have the success that you've had, what advice would you give to them? Yeah, I'd say um, mostly you gotta have fun with it. I think like I've you know always had that always had that mindset. Like um, I think you can't uh, can't keep progressing if you're not enjoying yourself, and that's a big part of hockey. Mm-hmm. Um, and then sure. another thing is is just like believe in yourself, um, no matter what position you're in. I think that's always uh, it's always a big part of of developing and, and getting better and reaching your goals is believing in yourself, believing that you can get there. And um, something I've always done to you know stay positive and. No matter what happens, you know, there's always, uh, there's always something brighter. So it's, you know, a good way to think, I, I believe. For sure. Yeah. Like if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's gonna, and then good things happen. It's yeah. hard to happen, yeah. man. That's, yeah. that's huge. No, <laughs> it's, it's easy when you're putting up like a hundred <laughs> points in the BC, you know, that's just, <laughs> <laughs> the belief's going to come with it. But <laughs> well, I love it. I do want to add, do we have any more fan questions? That's like added no. it into the speed round. Like I want to ask. They're not speed quick rounds. questions. The problem. The fan questions? Yeah. There's other ones are just having to do with like the Stanley. Like, who are you? Are you watching the Stanley Cup now still? Like, who would you be rooting for? Do you want just Vegas to just, you know, step on a Lego at this point? Or what's, <laughs> step your, <on> a <laughs> what's, what's your vibes? Yeah, I've been, I've been watching a little bit. I, I didn't really watch too much, um, you know, last week, but I've right. kind of started to watch some now. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. You I'm can't. not really cheering for anyone. I'm just no, kind of watching the other yeah, games yeah. go. Yeah. Stupid fucking fan. I was kidding. <laughs> 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 so these are the questions we got left for fans. I don't uh, know if we want to <laughs> run those, but how, I want to know like how big. Yeah, you got to play in some full barns in the NHL, right? Playoffs. I mean, yeah. how big is the difference college to NHL fan base? Like that, that you notice on the ice. Like, is it a massive difference? It's different. Like I wouldn't say it's it's huge. Like and it's hard it's hard for me too because I didn't go like directly from it, like where the pause with no fans. Like right. true. Try to remember how it was last year. But yeah. Um, you know, in, in the in the barns that were more full, like it's I don't think there's like a I don't think the energy is that much different, like compared to the college fans. I think like obviously the NHL, like it's barns are packed, everyone's into it, most mm. people are hammered, just loving it, and it's <laughs> like it's loud. But I think with college, like, like the energy of just students is just like unmatched. And like yeah. when you have, when you have student sure. sections where everyone's like so dedicated to your school um, and everyone like really wants you to win, it's like, I think it's kind of a, it's a different feeling where you have that many like students like pulling for you. It's, it's awesome. So mm-hmm. I, I think just, I would say different. You're playing for your school versus, I mean, obviously playing for Colorado is huge, but playing for your school, yeah, yeah. all the fans want, yeah, they want the same thing you do and that's a win. And exactly. then go party right. afterwards. Like yeah, exactly. that's all. No, that's why I love college hockey. Like, yeah, they're yeah. all dedicated. Got the chance, the bands going, the signs. Like, yeah, they're they're invested. They know everybody's girlfriend on the other team. Like, they're into it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, they're doing the research. I do got one more question for you. Um, yeah. Talk about the yeah, NHL draft on hearing your name called by the Avalanche. You know how stressful is that? You know, knowing you're you're most likely going the first round, obviously, but like you don't know what team you're going to. What was that process like? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was great, great experience. I mean, it was definitely a little nerve wracking, but um, yeah, I actually so a lot of my family came out for the draft. It's like on the other side of Canada, mm-hmm. but um, a lot of them made the trek out. I think I probably had like like thirty family friends, <laughs> like close family friends, and then I had like all my buddies from Vic came out, which is like there was like ten of them there. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video of them like putting on a show after uh, after the draft, but it's a pretty good one. They have um, I'm gonna have to. I'm yeah, looking we'll, for it. we'll pull gonna, it up. Yeah, it's going to the. It's going yeah, to it's, the it's good. They're all. They all. Uh, they all stole all my jerseys and like wore them backwards. And my name player was in the front, and they're sitting like a section over for me. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, a little, little story about the draft. I'm like sitting like I think it's like pick like four or something, and they all like came from Vic, so they were all like in Victoria. Some of them flew in, and some of them were like already lived there. Um, so they came from Vic, and they were like trying to plan it so they get there like at the beginning of the draft, and they probably made a couple stops along the way. <laughs> Um, There's so, then, uh, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, so I'm like sitting there and it's like pick like four or five. And uh, I didn't know where they were sitting. Like I knew that they were going to be in the building. I just didn't know where. And like, I hear like this group, like walking in, like 
tell that they could have they've already had a few and i was like oh god and i'm like <laughs> sitting there with like with like my family and like my mom dad and my sister and i like look over and it's like all 10 of the boys like walking down the aisle and like well like cheering out to me i'm like boys like sit down please <laughs> but it was awesome and then uh yeah i mean it got to like pick i don't know probably like, pick 10 or something and i thought like, it was a possibility i can go here Mm -hmm. um and then every pick after that it was just kind of like the heart would start racing like you know 30 seconds before the pick and then it would go back down and don't hear your name and then yeah um yeah but it was it was great you know such a such a such a well put off uh event did you you don't have to say but we cut it out too did you want to go to canadian team though any canadian team was that no i honestly like didn't have a didn't really have like you know preference like uh, i think it's cool to like think of certain situations where i could have been in but yeah um, the wild yeah i was just kind of <laughs> trying to take it all in and whatever i thought i had a good feeling about colorado i had a good feeling about vancouver and um so i thought after they were 10 so i thought after then like it could be anywhere and mm -hmm. colorado was sitting at 16 so it was unbelievable yeah i'm super happy to be a part of the yeah, Avs and colorado great organization you would be like a little bit nervous i mean that, that that roster that you're on is just stacked i mean it's like where, where am i gonna fit in like was that ever right. a thought in your head i mean like even now like going leaving bc is like am i gonna get into this roster like right yeah yeah i mean it's definitely it's definitely a thought and you know obviously you want to play and yeah um uh, but at the same time i think it's pretty uh i think like it's as hard as it is like it's it's, it's more so exciting that like all like you know i think for a lot of other teams, you'd be like trying to crack the roster and then like, that's it. Like you, you crack the roster and that's like great. But like yeah. with yeah. Colorado now, especially it's like, you know, you're training to make like a, uh, make like a top team and like win. So it's kind of yeah. like, you know, if, if you're there, you're going to be playing to win. And, you know, it's, it just adds to it, I think. So, which is, which is great. For that's sure. huge. I just watched that video back, but your friends got on camera. Like they're going nuts. They got a flag. <laughs> you're watching it right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to watch they're this? Going nuts. No. <laughs> Wait. They're gonna go to this. Oh, the boys. Man, they're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, good stuff. That's awesome. That, that'll go into the video. Uh, I love that. Just a whole. I mean, crazy. not many people at the draft have their whole whole section going there. Last, <laughs> yeah. I got one more question for you, Alex. Let's say you're recruiting to BC. What's your pitch to a top recruit? How are you getting to come to BC? Um. Yeah. Jeez. There's so many things. I would. I mean, I would say that. They're always going to be good, like mm -hmm. no matter what. Usually, you know, BC is always a top team in the country. And I mean, if I'm if I'm a recruit and I wanted to go to school, I want to be a team that's going to be good. Um, I think that um, tops one of the top schools in college hockey in terms of academics too. It's yeah. hard not to you know hard to turn that down. Um, and then I think probably just like the combination of like a school that is very like it's a school with a lot of pride um and i think that when you're part of something like that it's like you know something i'll never forget um i'm sure it's the same with a lot of schools but i just feel like there's something a little different about bc and the history that it has and um being a part of a you know a program that's that historical and that um you know high end so absolutely plus the facilities too i mean your locker room looks sick yeah, there it's not yeah, a hard no, sell facilities <laughs> are you know hands down just so nice so. Plus the travel. Well, I guess you guys are bus. I mean, you guys are pretty close to everyone out there. There's a lot of bus trips out there in the hockey east. Or yeah, yeah, all, all bus trips in hockey east. Okay, but just with the boys. Plus pucks in deep. I mean, you really can't go wrong. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> all comes through. Well, I mean, this has been freaking awesome. We really appreciate your time today, Alex. Uh, we're giving you the ECH bump. Obviously, not that the Avs need it. We're Wild fans, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep eating owls. But thank you for coming on today, man. This is awesome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Right, hey, man. Uh, best of luck moving forward. We'll stay in touch. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Right. Really skilled offensive player. Really good skater. He is what you call a true Canadian prospect. He's born and bred in St. John's, Newfoundland, right at the eastern tip of Canada. There's all his 50, 60 friends, family that are here. I don't want to stereotype Newfoundlanders, but I'm going to guess that they might have had a drink or two before the Christmas. <laughs> hey, this is Newhook. Alex Newhook with an assist tonight. Drives her job. Looking good. Cutting it. Back at goal! Oh, beauty! Alex Newhook! He goes from Newfoundland to Victoria. Here is Newhook on a breakaway score! Off the glove and in! And a 2 0 Eagles lead. Check the center ice, brought in by Newhook. In comes Alex Newhook. Alex Newhook joins the 
points. Mercer is goal scorers from Newfoundland. That is 7 1 Canada. It's walking in, finds Newhook. Newhook in front. Battle score! How did it get in? The Abs have taken a 2 1 lead. Lex Newhook in the off wing, the rookie. Pulls up all the way across. Good back check, Tarasenko. It's hammered to stop by Bennington. They score! First goal, and it comes in the Stanley Cup playoffs for Alex Newhook. I stack my money, lay low, and chill. Don't need to work hard, that's the way I feel.